welcome back. My name is Wahu Mungai and it being a Wednesday, it is definitely Women Crush Wednesday. So I will go ahead and introduce my very, very, very emphasis on the very gorgeous guest. So I will definitely let them um, introduce their names and definitely their position they hold. Oh yeah, good morning, good morning. This is Levina Osimo. Mm, not new though. Uh, today is Wednesday. I'm a journalist, I'm an artist, and um, others may come as we continue with the conversation. Yeah. yeah. Hello, good morning, I'm um, Maureen Chapkoske. Um, I really am a jack of all trades, I would say. Um, an event organizer, I'm also a corporate MC. Also, apart from that, I do um, public speaking as well as a founder of Healing Hearts Foundation Kenya. Thank you. Thank you so much for joining me. It is an absolute pleasure. So um, on all our social medias, uh, Pale Y254, um, our topic for today is marshalling a birthday party. Nibash. Mm -hmm. Yes. Nibash. In Nibash, yes. Mm -hmm. So um, our question for today is a party, CEO party, Bila Nini. And if I may, um, growing up, birthdays were the best um, events. I mean, other than Christmas, Jagukula Chapo, birthdays, they were the best. Um, so definitely asking which, my first birthday that I actually remember is my fifth birthday. Um, which birthday did you celebrate? Did you even celebrate birthdays? Oh, Let's start there. Excuse me. You, you, you now want to expose me to the public. Why? Oh Why my. do you want to expose me to the public? There were no you were asking me about birthdays. Oh. When I was growing up. Oh, Let me not talk much, but we'll talk about what birthday is. Mori? Well, for me, I would say birthdays up to now, it's a big deal. It's a big deal. Uh, growing up, uh, my dad normalized that, you know, he could actually even remember that this is the day that you should celebrate oh. your birthday. So mm -hmm. for me, that has been, even at this, uh, in this time thing. and age, mm -hmm. I, I think I still regard uh, birthdays so highly that um, that person who would remember my friend's birthdays, really, mm -hmm. and even want to see the best of what I really want over my birthday. Yeah, so that is Maureen. Wow. <laughs> that is Maureen. Yeah. Let's I definitely really, get back to Levin because wow. I'm really interested. That is Maureen. You are interested. I am. Oh. Because... What do you what mean? What do people do on birthdays? What do people do? Mm -hmm. First, we plan it before because you cannot plan it that that day because mm -hmm. you know the nitty gritties, and yes, you have to plan it before because there needs to be food, cake. Mm -hmm. As I said, party si party bila chakula. So food oh. is a must, and mm -hmm. cake also has to be I there, get it. and the mm -hmm. snacks mm -hmm. because I mean party si party bila, bila food. Oh, yes. Yeah. So so if you ask me whether I did a birthday yes at my childhood i don't remember oh my not even one i don't remember because i don't think i was born in 2000 okay not uh -huh. <laughs> no 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 i don't think i was born in 2000 okay. but back then we could only celebrate the first date of every year it was uh -huh. fantastic then we wait until December the 25th. Mm -hmm. That is when now you go buy the new clothes. You go make yourself. And don't ask me where I, I, I grew up. I, I'm really interested. Because if you ask me that, you will not understand. But I mean, if we are already celebrating the birthday of the year, mm -hmm. the birthday of the year is first January because we're celebrating a new year. So we can basically say, ni, Bashia, the whole year is 1st January. And if we're also celebrating 25th, which mm. is uh, generally known as Christmas, which is birthday of Jesus. Mm -hmm. So why are you not celebrating yours? Oh. What, what was the reason? What is the reason? <sighs> the reason is, we, I don't know. I don't know whether I don't understand why I never celebrated, but I will go ask my mother what happened in between. We should. That, yeah, I will go ask my mother what happened in between. And uh, she would just have to explain why I never celebrated my birthday when I was a child. But I can say it is something nice because I celebrated it after a I long was 10. After you were 10? Yeah. Oh my, you didn't have like the grand 
baby is one. No. I mean, in this I, no, era. I, with me, I cannot remember the grandbaby at one because I was still young. Yeah. And I could know whether that was, I could not know whether it was a birthday or people were just happy. Actually, I could not even know whether people are happy or not. But I can't remember when I was one. But I can remember when I was ten. Mm -hmm. And was it a grand oh, occasion? Yeah. It must have mm -hmm. been. So, Maureen, um, can you remember the first birthday you actually even remember having? You know, there's the one and two which we barely even know what is happening. But there's the one birthday you're like, eh, hey, yes, Taisa, how? I will never forget that one. Do you remember that one specific birthday? Well, like I said, uh, I've celebrated birthdays growing up. One that I really remember, <laughs> well, my dad happens to be a pastor as well as a civil servant. Um, there's this one birthday of mine that, that was my 12th birthday. And I remember we had planned to have it over, and over the, over the, you know, in the evening. Mm -hmm. Happens that we had some guests in the, in the house. So we had to accommodate this, those guests. And at the same time, my dad was like, oh, how about we celebrate that birthday with these people? And I'm like, yo, I mean, Why? this should be us. It's a, you know, it's a close a family thing. Why with the rest of the church? I mean, those were, you know, church members and all, around 10, 15 of them. And I'm like, okay, this doesn't make sense, but well, You've said it, we have to celebrate. I think that I'll never forget that because it was like making my birthday kind of huge yeah. with all the other people around, you know, the members of the church, my family, some other friends. So, do so we call that self love? <laughs> no, it's, I mean, I, we can, we can, mm -hmm. which is a good thing, mm -hmm. but I, I feel like. Um, the issue here was sharing. You did not want yeah, to share that, that day yeah, with it's anyone. Actually, it's that your is day. I mean. Yeah. Uh -huh. uh, even I think up to now, uh, I'm this person who thinks and feels like my birthday should be with those closest people around mm -hmm. my life. Mm -hmm. Not like I'm an introvert, I'm an extrovert, but I really believe in making it special and unique with the people that you always feel a thing with, people whom you share a, a, a life with. Because if you call a, a, a birthday party for me and call other friends who are not probably, you know, colleagues or probably, you know, uh, the acquaintances, oh. I would actually feel like this is not even a birthday for I me. Know. I want it to be that big with friends. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So considering I am a twin, so I will share my birthday with my twin sister. Shout out to my twin, by the way. Mm -hmm. um, I will share my birthday, always have, always will, till the end of time. So you do not like sharing, let's say that, I point mean. blank. <laughs> the, if, if it's yeah, your day, it's your is, day. That is the point. Like, we call it self-love. You love yourself so much. And uh, uh, actually, if I would... Uh, if I would, if, if it is me, then I would prefer calling the old village to attend my birthday <laughs> because that is the most special thing in life. Mm -hmm. Seeing another day, another year in your life, most special. If it, if it is me, I would call the old village. Actually, if it is possible, I can be doing my birthday in town. And invite anyone passes? Mm -hmm. Shika keki. Shika keki. Mm. Well, just to go back to what you were saying, that I don't like sharing. I'm this person who's big on uh, people. I'm a people's person. But when it comes to my birthday birthday, I'm like, okay, at least my closest people are around. The others can actually now join. At least I have my closest people around. That even comes to many other things around my life, the special days and the special events over my life, any milestone that I get to achieve. Without friends who are close to me, then that is not an event for me. And... Um, well, let me not touch on matters weddings because you sometimes come from different backgrounds and families where people really are big on, uh, you know, you call Unapata, you know, the whole bus, you know, we are yeah. going for that wedding. But that is me on the other side. Mm -hmm. I really desire having that big wedding, you know, that big event mm -hmm. over whatever I'm launching. But my closest people should be around, family, you know, my mm -hmm. closest friends too. I mean, yeah, yes. actually yeah. it. it is a <laughs> you is, day. Yeah. You only get it once. Yeah. twice. So uh, matters on birthdays. What are the do's and don'ts? So I believe I, I'll go first. In my do's, um, please show up. If we said dress code is white, why are you wearing pink? I know. Can you wear <laughs> white, please? Understand the dress if code. I don't have white, if what will I do? Um, I will definitely tell you in advance. I will not ambush you and tell and you. And if I don't like white, what will I do? 
don't appear, don't come. Oh, uh, definitely you don't want me on your birthday. No. Yeah. <laughs> no, I mean, but definitely it wouldn't just be white. It's a color theme kind of birthday. Mm -hmm. Make an effort because if I am born on the 5th of May, I will tell you two months before I am born on the 5th of May, mm -hmm. um, I'm having a birthday and this is the theme. So definitely that's a do for me. Um, come if it's the, this particular day please join me celebrate me and don't outshine me anyways oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah so it if, I, if i may ask yes why why would you buy a dress for a birthday why not you have asked and i asked do, why do, not do you not wear clothes when it's not your birthday why why must you purchase a new cloth for your birthday because you it is a me day mm -hmm. i will not mm -hmm. get the and i only turn that age once oh uh, maureen do you agree yeah. Yeah. exactly I totally agree. so you're not coming for my birthday okay. are you <laughs> no i'm not coming for your birthday because you are not going to to make me use money for a birthday no Absolutely not. Because Absolutely the stinginess not. in me is I not, going, uh, is not going to allow me buy a white dress for your birthday when I don't like a white dress. You don't so have to like So I would just like have it. to do my black dress uh -huh. because that is what I love. Then we'll just exempt you from all the photos. I mean, it's that simple. Oh, or yeah. I mean, uh, Maureen, what are the do's and don'ts? Uh -huh. Actually, I would say before the do's and the don'ts is um, one, uh, a color theme event is actually something for me. And uh, when we talk of the white being not a favorite to one mm. of my friends, mm -hmm. you know, it's the effort that counts. It's it the is. sacrifice that counts a yeah. lot, mm -hmm. even in our friendship. Mm -hmm. So if anything, um, if, if you're going to show up, please mm. try your best to be in that theme, mm -hmm. you know. And if you really feel uncomfortable over that, that's where we strike the balance. One well, of my friends are kind of favorites. Should I probably uh, pull a denim kind of an event mm. you know, and say this is a denim kind exactly. and white? Yes, know? something probably that a balance everyone of, has. Yeah, that will balance yeah. all of So that you friends. can actually accommodate everyone uh -huh. in that event. Mm -hmm. Because these are my friends. At the end of the day, these are my people. Mm -hmm. they will I'll still go, go the back to mind. them later. Exactly. Yeah, I'm coming to so your birthday. It's about, <laughs> balancing. it's about balancing. Make sure you invite me. You're not coming to no, mine. I will change your mind. Because you are not going to make me feel like I must have to. No, mm -hmm. yes, it's definitely because not a Because if, if I am your friend uh -huh. and you tell me the dress code is white, mm -hmm. then I tell you I'm not fit mm -hmm. with the white color. Mm -hmm. You'll be like, oh, can we, what is your best color? Oh, black or, or pink or blue. You'll be like, oh, we can do a white dress mm -hmm. with a, with a, a blue collar. Yes. We can even do even a white dress with a, with a black belt to accommodate me. Definitely. But you know you, you die. oh, if you don't have white, you are not coming for my birthday. I will not come, actually. Like in black to black to achieve too much. <laughs> yes, because <laughs> honestly, I mean, why it's, a a black color. it's a good color. Yeah. But, uh -huh. um, like I said, uh, I will definitely invite you with a color theme mm -hmm. because, um, I mean, it can be just one color because I need to accommodate the people who don't feel comfortable wearing certain colors. And I will go for a neutral color. I won't say lilac or burgundy mm -hmm. because so many people don't even know what these colors are per se. So, yes, definitely mix two colors and maybe put a name in there, something that is accessible to all. So... That makes sense. It now does? invite me. Okay, yeah, okay. Invite I told me, you I will me. change your mind. And, and you see, that comes with understanding the kind of friends that you have around yeah. your life. Yeah. Because if I know my friends are these people who won't go breaking the bank to probably be accommodated in that party, then I would actually go the minimal way, the minimalist way. Because I want them to feel also accommodated in that event. I don't want to go so high, yet they are going to feel as though they had to break the bank to make it in that event. Mm -hmm. So at the end of the day, it's about accommodating all around those yeah. people that you're going to mm -hmm. call for a certain event or party. Yeah. Exactly. So Maureen, you tell us your do's and don'ts in your birthday. Mm -hmm. Well, okay. The do's, I would say, is part of it, the theme. Uh, two, uh, I'm this person who loves organization. I, I mean, let it be organized. I, I don't want it to be like, yes, it's an open thing. It's uh, an informal stuff. But let it be that everyone feels there is a program the way it actually should align. At the end of the day, we feel like this day has been successful because there was good organization with good MCing services, 
Well, when I talk of MCing services, someone may be like, ah, so you're going to hire an MC? No, they're good friends who are also good in MCing. Mm -hmm. of, of, of course, we f if we have graduation parties, we also have uh, the birthday parties, any kind of event, the mm -hmm. small events, we always have those friends who can actually come through for you. And that is one thing I believe they do. Uh, good programs should be laid out. Oh. Uh, and of course, part of it is party, bill of food, you know. There should be food. Exactly. There should be snacks. I a long, a long last food. Let, let us pass that in the bin. You guys bin. just <laughs> love food. Of course. Uh, the way you are talking, you just food mongers. <laughs> I wonder why you love why food this not? much. Why not? Food, food is hmm? life. If you are coming for my birthday, why must you eat? I really want to hear your you do's eat? and your Why don'ts. must you eat when you are coming for my birthday? Why? Why not? So you just come, we, 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 we have a time, then you go back eat at your place. Just to answer Levina, <sighs> when we talk of food in any party or event, for mm. me that is uh, like being, trying to make people feel like the warmth of that very event or party. Mm -hmm. To food feel Food in our African society yes. is something that really is a signature mm -hmm. to accommodate everyone. Be it in the village, be it in the city, be it anywhere you go, even in the workplace. Mm -hmm. Events do not come with uh, an event that comes without food. Then to get back, people zoom. I'm a Google Meet. Maybe I bam it. I bam And at the end of the day, food mm. brings people together. Okay. Eka pale comrades wambi, pale kampo. Ah, manze. You know, there is this uh, event, this party. Mm. Ukisema kuna refreshments, kuna 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 These people would actually mm. come in big numbers, then you want to target these people. So yeah. in yeah, short, so in short, necessary. life is food is life. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I get. Food is life. Levina, can we hear your do's? My dues for my birthday. Yes. You just come for one hour. One? You you bring me money because I love money so much. Uh -huh. uh, play with my Mpesa. Okay. Just come very and important. see me for one hour. Uh -huh, very important. Just come and see me for one hour. Go back, eat at your place. <laughs> it's just... Is there a cake? Let's the day pasta. is mine. Is Relax. Uh -huh. The day is mine. I am the person who should be treated. I should not be treating you and yet this day is mine. You should be spoiling me as the person who is holding the, pa the, 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 the birthday. The birthday. Yeah, the birthday is mine, not for you, my friends. Okay. So if you're coming to it, it's like you're coming to squander my, my happiness, my birthday. And what are your don'ts? I am eager uh, to hear this. One. My don'ts. Mm -hmm. We don't come to it. Uh, I feel like that's your first. Yeah, yeah, yeah <laughs> we don't come to it. And the other one that you should not do is to just wish me happy birthday on your status and you don't play with my empire. what is that <laughs> so the key here is you know when some when MPSA. somebody is uh, is given birth to ama mtu akizaliwa you s you will see m our mothers coming with clothes uh, presents na socks eh vitu zinakuja sio mtoto kupeana vitu eh but so that we work with status, you have many jazz photos ten, and you are there. You have not even sent me a single cent. What is that? Eh? But what, what will I use to buy a socks for me? What if we come with gifts? Mm -hmm. Is that then you a eat. do? Then you eat in return. <laughs> oh, you really? come with the gifts and you take <laughs> the gifts away. Yeah. It's a this or this. So, what, is, what now is the essence of a birthday? Because I'm not understanding. It is my birthday, you give me a gift, mm -hmm. then you eat in return. So, it's like you are coming to exchange things mm -hmm. with me. You are not coming for my birthday. So, if I am your friend, we have been in school together, to mm -hmm. me pita yani, and I am at a place where I am not able to play with your Mpesa as mm -hmm. per se, mm -hmm. or even to come with a gift. Mm -hmm. Am I even allowed at no, your birthday? No, you don't come. Oh my lord. Just okay. don't come because it is my birthday. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. Okay. Maureen, we'll hear your don'ts. My don'ts. Thank you for that question. My don'ts, I'd say, um, I, I'm an extrovert, yes, but don't bring the hi for, you know. <laughs> It was sense that it can ruin that birthday okay. for me, uh -huh. or that party for me. You know, I'm this person who's big on uh, a good reputation mm -hmm. anywhere, anywhere. Well, there are these people who might be in that event and they'll be like, ah, these are the people that associate with this girl, Maureen. And I'm like, ah, you know, in a way, excuse me, please be aside, let me be on this lane. Mm -hmm. uh, I think I'm this person who's so big on that. And two, I would say is my don'ts is just flow with the, with the rhythm of the day. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the, 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 the dress code, please be in that rhythm of that day. When it comes to the program, 
this is how it's aligned, please flow with it. You're my friend, please accommodate me even with what I've brought on the table. Mm -hmm. So at the end of the day, we are good. We are good because the dons should actually, whenever uh, I go to an event that a friend has organized, I also want to be at par with what he or she has organized over that event or that party. Yeah. So let's put a case scenario where it is my birthday. Mm -hmm. Emphasis on the case scenario. Mm -hmm. Levin? Yeah. Emphasis on the case scenario. Mm -hmm. So the case scenario is it is my birthday and I would like it, I would like to celebrate with my friends. And I do not have enough funds for this particular day. So I text my friends, WhatsApp, make a group. We always do that. And I say, so Kesho is my birthday and I'd like us to celebrate or in a, in a month's time. And I'd like for each and every one of you to contribute a particular amount of money that will make this day a success. So what are your views? I totally mm -hmm. agree and concur with you. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Because at the end of the day, it's about celebration. And celebration is with friends and family. And uh, I would actually want to be with them. Sometimes when Le Levina talked about, uh, are they coming to eat and get, uh, I mean, coming with gifts and in turn getting this uh, food. Uh, mm -hmm. Uh, at some point, I felt like uh, coming in and say that, you know, um, we are at an age, probably as we advance as the Gen Z's, that we actually want to feel like these people have thrown a party for me. Not like I've organized that party, yeah, exactly. broke the bank oh. to actually make oh. my friends happy. Now you are coming yeah, to should actually side. come I in and that. support uh, mm -hmm. the milestone and actually say to A that Maureen is happy. This is her day. Mm -hmm. Not me breaking the bank to make you happy. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Yeah, that you is done. what I call So friendship. is it, is it someone done. who is willing, let's say per se, I did not even ask in the group of my, my group friend, is it per se the birthday girl or the, uh, the friends of the birthday girl are willing to slightly sponsor this particular day? Or is it me having to ask, guys, I don't have enough cash in the bank, no. can you all support? No, mm -hmm. no. If you want mm, to be in my birthday. Play with my M-Pesa. Play with <laughs> my M-Pesa. Mm -hmm. And if you want the day to be successful, you should not be, I should not be asking you mm -hmm. to support me. Mm. Because uh, I know us, especially ladies, I know us. After you're done with celebrating our, my birthday, you will be like, oh, she never even had money to, 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 to finance her birthday. Or she never, if it is not me, if it was not me or that, a thing of that kind. That is why I say when you come to my birthday, I will not ask you for, to finance my birthday. But if you come to my birthday without something, then please just don't come because uh, I don't want you to hear, I don't want to hear you side talk mm -hmm. after we are done with the party. Because you know that we end our relationship. Mm -hmm. So with me, I will not ask you. It is your responsibility to know that my friend is having a birthday and maybe if you are a good friend of mine, you should know that I lack capital. Mm -hmm. You should know that uh, on this and this day, I'm, I'm not going to be able to finance myself for my birthday. So you, you should be the person asking, what are we doing? How are we going to do this? Uh -huh. Help me do that because that is my day. I should feel great. You should be doing something on my behalf so that I feel like this is my day. And my friends has, have taken care of my day. Yeah. So considering we're in a new generation mm -hmm. and we keep on um, learning from even our mistakes. Mm -hmm. So is there something you experienced in your past birthdays for Levina from when you were 10? Mm -hmm. um, and that is different in this current day and uh, era? Or is there something that you would change or is there something that you would keep that used to happen before and isn't happening today yeah a lot a lot for example we have the type of foods we eat on our birthdays Mapucho, pucho. the kind of drinks we have on our birthdays mm -hmm. are very far much different huh? 
in this Gen Z generation, if you don't come with a, an alcoholic drink on that party, then you will not, if you will not fit. There are three quarters of the parties. You will not fit in that party. And uh, if you are there and you don't drink, you, you will, will be exempted. Yes. Yeah, you will be like sitting all along and you wonder, why did I come for this party in the first place? And back then when, I, when we were celebrating our birthday, we, we, we could cook. We enjoyed tea and uh, Coca-Cola and Fanta. Mm -hmm. And some good cake. And I grew up back in the village, we could cook potatoes, bananas, and you, uh, to remind you, we were taught how to cook, and that means we are good cook. If we cook for you something, you just enjoy. Instead of going to buy something from a, a chicken in, you go and buy something there. I will cook it personally for you, and you feel like it is well cooked. Uh, very, very far much different from uh, today's life. Where I have to go order something from a a shop to facilitate my party. And I'd be like, oh, you know I've done my nails for the birthday and I don't want to them to get spoiled. Exactly. So uh, I'm not going to cook anything. I uh, just contribute money uh, so that we can, uh, we can order just it. order something from, from, from a shop. Very far much different from that. Then you find that the musics we used to play was kind of a cool music for a party. Then come now, I come to your party. Mm -hmm. I'll be like, I'm coming out of that party with headache. Mm -hmm. eh? The music is too loud. It is too loud. You don't even understand what is in the music, or maybe it is just some funny music somehow. And you're like, hey, God, I'm not attending a birthday party again. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So there are a lot of differences compared yeah the this this generation of 2000 and the other generation there are a lot of differences yeah mm. okay Maureen what I would actually bring as an input over this conversation is that um, I think the era that our parents normalized over our birthdays is not the same era that you're in uh, because there is a big difference of uh, how I could feel. Like she said, uh, we would have a, a small kind of a party at home with family and some few friends probably here and there, and have that cake, you know, drinks, you know, soft drinks mm. for that matter. To be specific. Uh, to be specific. And um, you have the time together, share, you know, deeply because it's your day. But you see with this the agent era where we have the Gen Z's, uh, there's more of um, parties in the cities. Actually, it's something to watch out, even to these viewers, that um, this is where you realize that there are many things that happen in between. And I would actually concur with Levina that the kind of uh, party that is actually thrown in such events, in those part in those uh, very vicinity, it's something not to go by. Uh, those parties with drinks, you know, every kind of drinks being brought on the table, where the first question would be from a Gen Z, who's actually a party type of a person, would actually be, Kutakuwa na mate, you know, that is always the first question. First question. And for me, uh, that is always a place where I say, keep at it, mm -hmm. keep at it, mm -hmm. that is you. But this is now the lane that I stand with. And I think that is where we say, um, the kind of parties that we hold in this current, uh, you know, society, in that in this current society and age, is that people have forgotten the value of the parties. I mean, the birthdays. Because if I come to this event, I would come. If you okay, not me, but that person who comes to that event as a friend or a, or a colleague or someone, they would come and take that alcohol. Yeah. At the same time, there's actually a way that you'd actually lose the value of that very event, especially a birthday party, because you wanted a time to, you know, a heart-to-heart -heart talk, 
have time together, celebrate together. Well, they would say celebrating together is also part of it, mm -hmm. the tithing. But for me, I would say you actually lose some sense of who you really are in mm -hmm. that period and that very time that you actually are in that, you know, alcohol. So it's good to actually see the sense in that. I would say, because you've really lost the essence of birthdays and events, yep. the good events in the society. Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right. Because, uh, okay. Uh, because uh, there, there was an incident where I stay. Uh, they had actually, it was a birthday party at night. They, 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 they started so, so well. At around midnight, there was commotion and I was like, okay, I'm a late sleeper. I don't sleep, sleep that early. So I was like, what is happening at the next door? So I kept some five minutes monitoring, monitoring, and the next 10 minutes, a guy was being thrown out of uh, the room, beaten, and uh, he's on blood. And I'm like, uh, these guys were just celebrating a birthday. And they even invited me. And I said, uh, if I get time, I will come. But I could not, I could not uh, maintain that. The I night took a time. Yeah, I could not. So in the next 10 minutes, uh, after midnight, there was cries. Uh, uh, one of them were being beaten, thrown. Uh, actually, they they almost killed that boy. If if not, the people living there interbe intervened. They could have killed him. And that is why I say, if we don't take the right, if you don't go and look for the right meaning of a birthday party, then we, this generation, we are going to lose it. Because we go there with the mind of so-and-so is holding a party, and without an, an alcoholic drink, that is going uh, to make us, make us high. The party will not be a party. And that is why we are missing the whole thing. Because when we are in the process of, of this, Remember alcohol, what it does. It messes with our behaviors, our characters, our mental stability. So you will not even understand what you are doing at a, a specific time. So we miss the part of a party, a birthday party, party. And we make it something that is too extraordinary that is even messing our characters and messing our health as, as youths. So if uh, I am asked to give my point over a birthday party occurrences, I would say there is no need of holding a birthday party. Mm -hmm. Everyone should just celebrate yeah. that day. There is no need of holding a birthday party because we are missing a lot. Mm -hmm. We are missing a lot and it is missing our characters and missing our health. All right, Maureen. And, and come to think of it, over what Livina is actually sharing is that by the fact that they would actually ask, the first question would be, Kutakuwa na te, you know, mm -hmm. Zinga itakuwa, you know, mm -hmm. kwa wingi. And, and, and you realize, are they coming because of Zinga or are they coming because of me? To and celebrate me or to celebrate them? Big Zinga question. You know, that is a big no, they are not coming. They will, they will not they will appear. Not come. Yeah, yeah, they will not appear. Yeah. 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 And so you see, we have lost the whole sense, you know, the essence of a birthday party yes. because it's about celebration happy for my milestone and we actually you know okay. what are you expecting for the new age and for the new season that is to come True. but you know with alcoholism all things take a new time okay so as we wind up because we're talking about our birthday parties mm. as we wind up uh shortly so what about your loved ones and your friends do you make an effort to actually even surprise them because I do I make sure I will surprise each and every one of my friends and family because it is their day it doesn't even have to be big yes do you make an effort that I do I, I, I know my friends might be watching and they really know that is Maureen and this person people who people know that if her birthday comes Maureen kuna vilata show up you know they don't have to tell me but I always have it in my mind that this man is my is my probably friend's birthday mm -hmm. and I have to go this and this you know big over this and this and probably go low on this and this because I know what he or she desires in such a day. Mm -hmm. And so that is one thing I say, friendship is good when we celebrate one another's milestones. And I actually can say that if you are a person who has been, uh, who has normalized the attitude of celebrating others, people will also come for you. Exactly. Come for you, also your, on your days because it's more of coming together. Those are the yes. special days that bring us together as friends. And so uh, definitely Maureen, I Maureen hope her friends are listening. Cool. She definitely does. <laughs> yeah. Lavina, do you make an effort for your family and friends? Oh, my family is uh, a mandatory thing. 
absolutely they should not even ask for it mm. yeah it is something that i should know that to, if it is third of january i should know very well that my mother is having a birthday and i should make her happy on her birthday and i will have to do that perfectly mm -hmm. i will have to do that perfectly and my friends you know, if you don't surprise me, if they don't play with your M Pesa, if you don't play with my M Pesa, <laughs> I will be offline that day. You will call me and I will be offline. So make an effort, play with my M Pesa, so that when it is your turn, I'll be there fully. Absolutely. So mm -hmm. even as we wind up, please do tell uh, our viewers where they can get you on social media. I think we'll start with Levina. Okay. Uh -huh. Oh, like I said, I'm not new, but let me just repeat. Please do. Maybe there's some new people. Uh, if you go on Facebook, you, you on Facebook, you'll find me with Nyaringa Kojuach. That is my motherland. Uh, that is where I come from. If you go on uh, Twitter, I'm Levina Osiemo. Instagram, Levina Elmad. Uh, TikTok, I'm Levina Elmad. On YouTube, I'm Levina Osimu. You can go there and subscribe for my songs. I have songs on YouTube. Mm -hmm. Like I said, I am an artist. And um, we also have an association of uh, the Kenya Girl Guide. Okay. I am one of them. Amazing. The, yeah. So if you feel like you should join us, feel free and uh, look for us. It All is right. a very fine association. We do a lot of things. Okay. Yes. Maureen? Thank you. <coughs> um, on socials, you'd actually find me on TikTok at least 254 Maureen Gay. Um, I do the same. Uh, that is why I think I can't say I really am big on. Mm -hmm. And um, on these other, uh, I am actually a founder of uh, an, a foundation called Healing Hearts Foundation Kenya. That is for the young people where we come, meet, share, heart to heart talks on matters mental health. And to all the men out there, I would actually say, a happy mental health uh, mental health man to you people and it's okay not to be okay it's good to speak up it's good to come out of your cocoon and actually say this is what i'm going through mm -hmm. i need help mm -hmm. um other than that i'm also a corporate mc i do corporate events moderations and um more of public speaking engagements thank you thank you so much for joining me here at why in the morning my name is Wahumunga. You can find us Y254 on all social media uh, platforms. Uh, it has been a really engaging interaction with my guest here, Maureen uh, and Levina. It has been amazing, amazing, amazing. You can find us again, I repeat, Y254 on all social media platforms. I have been your host, Wahumungai. <laughs>